Uh, this next piece that um, I want to look at, uh, the title of the work is called High John the Conqueror. And for me, it's uh, right now, I think it's uh, a piece that would be indicative of uh, the height of my work. Uh, I feel like it's, it's my personal masterpiece in a lot of ways. Uh, the title really uh, talks about an individual, a uh, mythic individual, uh, High John the Conqueror, and who he was was is that he represented the, uh, during uh, American uh, colonial life, for people of African descent, High John the Conqueror was the person who would come to the plantation and relieve all the ails of the people who were working so hard, picking cotton. And when things got bad, or when uh, the things, so many brutal, brutal events happened during slavery, he was the individual who would take them. He came in the form of a crow, and he would come down and he would put all the slaves, the people who were enslaved, on his back. And he would fly them away to another place, sometimes back to Africa, uh, sometimes just to a nicer place where things were better. But it, for me, it really signifies, uh, for me, I, want, I, I, I chose to highlight uh, African-American mythology. Uh, it, it, he, he represents uh, the ultimate force for good. Uh, the way I physically depicted him, in a way, is purely from my imagination. But it has figurative elements as well as uh, strict abstract elements. Uh, it has a variety of different textures that are included. The stone itself is an Italian bardiglio. Uh, it's unpolished uh, to give it more of a rough feel to it. The piece uh, actually is probably the longest I've spent on any single piece, uh, about eight months. And it, 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 it more or less unveiled itself over time. And it kind of instructed me uh, as to which the way it would go as far as the lines and particularly the relief that's done on top of the stone. Uh, I think it, it, it really uh, shows, uh, not in opposition to traditional African artwork, but it shows a continuation of African-inspired work through the African-American lens and the African-American experience.